Five, four, three, two. Good morning. I'm Lucretius Lucky Flickerman, a man who needs no introduction. Weatherman, amateur magician, and today, I'm honored to say, first ever host of The Hunger Games. In my hand an envelope, sealed, my prediction, the winner to be opened by me upon the big show's end. Whoa, whoa. They're here. We're getting more. All right, we're about to start. We're starting, everyone. We're starting. Happy Hunger Games. Happy Hunger Games. Remember, when your tribute dies, get out of here. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Sing your way out of this one, Lucy Gray. What is that dress? She's some sort of clown? Lucy Gray. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm sorry. games. You saw her. She's underfed. Unstable. The dean said it's not just about winning. Everything is about winning. If not the games now, then the crowd. Lucy Gray won't survive a minute inside that arena. So that means we have to make every second before then count. I'll get her to sing again. I wouldn't sing a note for you if I was her. I wouldn't do anything at all. Unless I could trust you. She's district, Tigers. She knows we hate her and she wants us dead. How am I supposed to get her to trust me? Imagine it was your name that they pulled and you had been ripped from your home. I just want to know that somebody still cared about me out here. Don't discount her just because she's district, Corio. You might have more in common with her than you think. <laughs> How tantalizing to see all your shining young faces on this auspicious day. 
I am Dr. Volumnia Gall, your humble head game maker in charge of the War Department and all its affiliated concerns. I've broken free of my laboratory today to examine you, the leaders of the next generation. I won't be around forever after all. <laughs> and now to that end, I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves, Dean Casca Highbottom. Uh, <clears throat> select students, faculty, and of course, Dr. Gall. I have summoned you all here today for the 10th Annual Reaping Ceremony, in which we choose two children from each district to throw into the Capitol Arena to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. How tantalizing to see all your shining young faces on this auspicious day. I am Dr. Volumnia Gall, your humble head game maker in charge of the War Department and all its affiliated concerns. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves, Dean Casca Highbottom. I have summoned you all here today for the 10th Annual Reaping Ceremony, in which we choose two children from each district throw into the Capitol Arena to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. I am here to tell you that there has been a change this year. One final assignment to prove your worth. It's a story that takes place 64 years before the first installments of the movies and focuses on young Snow. Look at you. Your makeshift shirt and your too tight shoes trying desperately to fit in. When I know the snows don't have a pot to piss in. Snow is being groomed to become the man he becomes. As a mentor, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. Persuade them to perform for the camera. Lucy Gray, the one who Snow becomes the mentor for and also falls in love with, there's a very naturalistic quality to her, but she's a charmer. She's a musician, she's a performer, she's kind of the anti-Katniss. She's part of the Covey, this kind of roving band of musicians. Snow's never met anybody like her. That romance between them makes Snow question everything he was raised to believe. I think there's a natural goodness born into us all. No, really. We can either cross that line into evil or not. And it's our life's work to stay on the right side of that line. Part of the love story starts to fall apart, and that is part of the creation of who he becomes. It's the things we love most that destroy us. Most everybody that I work with is coming back. Trish Somerville is doing the costumes for this movie. Joe Willems, who shot Catching Fire, The Mocking Jays. The one new person that I'm really excited about is Uli Hanish, who's the production designer. We talked about the sort of look and the feel of the movie. The visuals of this movie will be very different than Mockingjay, but there's real consistency in terms of the Capitol architecture. We get to sort of reinvent the world of NM, to sort of deconstruct what the games are that we're sort of used to and go back in time. It wasn't until I read it that I saw how much music was actually in here. And we met with Dave Cobb. He's a fantastic songwriter and producer. It's going to be fun to take all this history of British Isles music and Southern music and mash it all together in this dystopian way in this future. James Newton Howard. It's my fourth Hunger Games film with him. The musical opportunity is great. Relationships are very powerful in the movie. The good and the bad are very clearly laid out. For James and I, it was really fun to explore a new sound for the Hunger Games. Sometimes it's foot stomping and rousing, and sometimes it's haunting, mysterious, and a lot of that is based on the kind of period of the movie itself. But there's going to be some familiar elements as well. Hanging Tree is back in a completely different iteration and treatment. Here we get to see Lucy Gray coming up with it for the first time. Are you, are you 
coming to the tree where I told you to run so we'd both be free. <laughs> Strange things did happen here. No stranger would it be if we met up at midnight. In the hanging tree. Mr. Snow, after everything you've seen out there in the world, what are the Hunger Games for? Are you, are you coming to the tree? The Hunger Games, they're to punish the districts. Those tributes don't have a choice. Your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. We're live! Smile. It's why we have teeth. Imagine it was your name that they pulled. Strange things didn't happen here. I just want to know that somebody still cared about me. That I was still of value. Welcome to the capital. You look like you shouldn't be here. I shouldn't, but I'm your mentor. A rebel. I am gonna get you out of here. You want to protect people, and it's essential to accept what human beings are and what it takes to control them. Let's see you use that famous snow charm. You seem like a good man, Coralina Snow. I have seen what war does to people. Fueled with the terror of becoming prey. See how quickly we become predator? I want my enemies to see a rainbow of destruction engulfing the world. You monsters! All of you! Good luck with that poor little songbird. Where is she? It's a mystery. And mysteries have a way of driving people mad. <laughs> Mr. Snow, let me ask you one final time. What are the Hunger Games for?